few teams in the EFL can match Lincoln City's magnificent form in 2024, rising from 15 points off the playoffs in the middle of January to the top six now. But only goal difference is between the Imps and Oxford United just beneath them. So the pedal needs to be kept firmly on the floor for Michael Skubala's side to finish in the promotion mix. Today might be the day that Carlisle United bid farewell to League One, but good Friday's win at Peterborough at least showed Paul Simpson's side who wants to put on their best in the final few weeks of the season. Can they cause another upset and shake up the promotion picture? Well, Lincoln boss Michael Skubala saying there's no point putting in the shift that they did against Lake Norient if they go on to drop points here. As the ball's played across the penalty area and there's just no one in a Carlisle United shirt to take advantage. Still in possession though. And Butterworth picks up the loose ball. Taking it on and going for goal. And right down at his near post to force it behind for a corner. Good run this from Butterworth. Positive opening for Carlisle United. It's been difficult for Carlisle United fans watching here without a home win since New Year's Day. Just three home wins all season. It's Lincoln building now. Sorensen. That's a good ball. Back across the house. And Lincoln City lead inside 10 minutes. Ben House with the goal is second of the season after an injury ravaged campaign. Loads of room for Sorensen to lift this into the box. Headed back across by Taylor and House following in and finding the finish. Well, once again, Carlisle United have conceded at home. Only Shrewsbury, who are League One's lowest scorers, have failed to score here. Trying to show things coming forward, and they've won themselves a corner. It's just from Mellish deflecting behind after a Lincoln City man. There's some more encouragement as the ball comes loose, but that rather sums up Carl United so far, given away. And the shot coming in from Taylor. Easy for Lewis to deal with. Carlisle United at times causing their own problems. Just a little bit awkward for Taylor to get his boot round it. And as the half-time whistle goes, there's the reaction. So Carlisle United to get this second half underway. With a deficit to overcome. Not the first time we've said that this season. And here's Mellish looking to make a positive start. Robinson. Now Neil urged to shoot. Thinks better of it. Decent cross, Mellish! Well, Wright had to be on his guard there. Melish, who had a wonderful game at Peterborough on Good Friday, almost had himself another goal. Well, Paul Simpson talking about the fact that they need to regain pride and respect Carlisle United. Certainly did that on Good Friday, and they're trying to do it again here as Butterworth strikes and hits the woodwork. Well, they have come close to an equaliser on two occasions at the start of this second half. Butterworth won't come much closer than this. Well set forward, beats the goalkeeper, but not the upright. Given away once more as Colin United continuing to press the issue here. Nice ball through the legs of Sorensen as Robinson sends it across. No one in blue to meet it. Gibson picking it up. Looking for an angle. Getting past Hackett. There's the header. Really convincing. But still not away. Good touch from Gibson. Helping it in again. 
Again, the crowd urging the shot that doesn't come. Robinson now off Sorensen. Carlisle corner. Robinson's a witness in then. Heads go up. Will it drop? No. Lavelle was in there, just couldn't get a firm contact on it. And now Lincoln City on the breakaway. That's a lovely ball through. It's Taylor opening his body up and making it 2-0. Lincoln City doubled their advantage. They suffered Carlisle United pressure, but at the other end, they have helped themselves to a goal that will take them much of the way to three points, the way things have gone for Carlisle United this season. House releasing Taylor, worked the angle for himself, and then that's a delicious finish into the corner. He just can't leave Joe Taylor in that sort of space in the form that he's in. Seven in his last five games. As Carl United looked to respond again. Mellish has won himself a free kick. What can they do from this position? Robinson. Half cleared. Butterworth will try one. And once again, Wright has to tip it over his crossbar. Well, he's had a few very decent efforts this afternoon, Butterworth. And he's drawn a couple of very good saves from the goalkeeper. Well, to their credit, Carlisle United still pressing the issue here, but they're up against League One's joint best defence. Just 33 conceded by Lincoln City all season. Robinson lifting it into the penalty area once more. And there's the bell! And they do have one back. Well, it's no less than Carlisle United have deserved. For their endeavours, particularly in the second half. Now can it be more than a consolation? As the bell makes it 2-1. Time ticking away for Carlisle, who need something to happen. And we've got defending to do at the other end. As the three kicks given, and then Barkley is going to go in the book for that. Sorensen then to deliver the set piece. It's flicked on by O'Connor. Now he's at the post. Well, the centre half, Pauli O'Connor, up from the back here. Stealing away from his man and nearly making it three. What have Carlisle United got left? Lincoln City will be desperate to hold on for these three points. So crucial in the promotion race as Bishop is brought down by Emmanuel, and there's another yellow card. Bishop, the man fouled, shaping up to take this. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Bishop. A picture-perfect free kick for Lincoln's third and surely all three points. Heading back to Sinselbank. There's no stopping this. That is a super free kick. And Lincoln City have done, yet again, what they've needed to do. And their promotion push looks like it's continuing. Carlisle still going in search of another consolation. There is the full-time whistle, and Lincoln City just keep on winning. They had work to do here, they really did have to work for it. But once again, Michael Skubala's side have done just enough. And they end the Easter weekend inside the top six and dreaming of securing a playoff place come May.
Ben House sending them on their way. Joe Taylor ending an excellent breakaway with a goal of his own before Ted Bishop's superb free kick ended the contest. Sam Lavelle's consolation, the least Carlisle United deserved after more than playing their part in the game. But Paul Simpson's side, well, they're not relegated yet and they are still battling. And that appreciated by the home fans. But for Lincoln, it's they who leave with all three points. They win it by three goals to one.